We could lease this thing, but I don't lease this thing. What you put out there for somebody else to go through is what you're going to manifest tenfold. And not a cup. Now, maybe somebody want to express the way they feel or want to connect with somebody with this Knight of Cups. And then three of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. They could have been doing something behind the scenes at the three of Pentacles. They could have been working with people behind the scenes at the three of Pentacles. And they sitting back, you know, going through equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. So they could have been working with somebody like a third party behind the scenes to cause havoc or blockages for somebody else. And they didn't know that this person was attached to karma. So now they're getting that person's karma along with the karma that they created being attached to that person in their energy behind the scenes. Yeah, this could have been a mother figure with the empress. Could have been somebody mother. Could it be an overall woman that's looked at like, you know, a mother? Or they could have did this to a, a divine feminine, a divine being, a powerful woman. Somebody that's, you know, they have mastered all the, the queens in the deck. And they in their empress energy. Yeah, tempers. They have balanced stuff out with this tempers card. They can ba balance out masculine and feminine energy as they end this empress energy. A divine feminine. Maybe somebody that has been watching them behind the scenes, you know. Want to come in and express the way they feel about this person. Knight of Cups. Or they just want to show this person some love. Knight of Cups. Maybe they're getting what they did, you know, to this person. Or they look at this person as attractive, Queen of Wands. They look at this person as somebody that's, you know, attractive and passionate. Somebody that's gifted, talented. A hustler, go-getter, goal-oriented. Yeah, and they track a lot of attention. <laughs> Queen of Swords and King of Cups. Yeah, this person could have, you know, this is somebody that's possibly got love, this King of Cups, for this person, this Empress. And this woman came and spoke the truth about something with this Queen of Swords to this person. And they was already attracted to this person at the Queen of Wands. But they sat behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles and watched this person elevate, balance themselves out, and become an empress. Where they can balance out all these queens in a deck. So they could have sat back and just was attracted to this person at the Queen of Wands. This person came in at the Queen of Swords and spoke the truth to them. This King of Cups. About something that was going on behind the scenes. And maybe they, you know, give and take balance. They, it came back on them. Maybe they did something behind the scenes to this person and it just came back on them. Somebody that tried to warn them about something by speaking the truth. Yeah, four wands. Could have been somebody that they was, you know... In a, a stable home with or a family life with, four wands could have been, this person could have been their twin that, you know, gave them the heads up about somebody and spoke the truth. They look at this person as stability. Whoever came in with, you know, this empress. This empress is somebody that, you know, they can embody every queen in the deck. They run everything around them. And this person is in love with this person. And this person spoke the truth about something behind the scenes. Yeah, the sun is here. Things came to light and secrets have been exposed for something that this person came in and spoke the truth about to this King of Cups. And things was, you know, being illuminated behind the scenes. Stuff was exposed. So this person came in and spoke the truth about something. Maybe this person didn't believe this person. And they sat back behind the scenes watching this person. And things came to light. Secrets have been exposed. But they, as they was watching this person, they was watching this person balance themselves out. And become an empress. 
Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and Four of Pentacles. This person is in their, you know, destiny. They see this person as the, in the Wheel of Fortune, in their destiny. The wheel turning in their favor. Them being at the Four of Pentacles, stingy with time, money, and energy. But this person came in and told this person with this Four of Pentacles that you need to watch the company you keep. You need to watch the people that's around you. And they didn't, you know, they didn't get what this person was talking about. Ace of Pentacles and Five of Pentacles, yeah. Five of Pentacles, they, they kind of left this person out in the cold or kind of quit. They quit, you know, all, cut out all communication with this person. They could feel left out in the cold by this person because this person came in and spoke the truth and they wasn't paying attention to it. And then the sun came out. Things was being illuminated. Secrets was revealed. Stuff was getting exposed and they didn't know. They just thought this person was talking. I'm, I'm hearing. Yeah, until they got backstabbed at the Ten of Swords and pent down for harsh, painful endings by multiple people that they were around. So this person told them, be at the Four of Pentacles, stand you with time, money, and energy. You need to watch the company you keep. Watch the people that you're around. And they probably wasn't paying attention to it or listening to it, and they had to learn in a harsh, painful way at the Ten of Swords that the people that were around them had, you know, backstabbed them multiple times. Wanted them pent down for harsh, painful endings. As they didn't know that they was placed around certain people. Could have been family members, friends, people just in situationships, people at work that wanted to backstab them. And they didn't know why. And they didn't know they was under a generational curse or a hex that had been placed on them. You know, Eight of Cups. This all happened so this person could walk away at the Eight of Cups from um, toxic situations and things that no longer serve their purpose. So their ancestors could have been trying to get their attention. And that's why they, you know, this person was brought to them to let them know this. And they just probably thought that they, you know, knew the people that were around them. They've been knowing them for a long time and they wouldn't do nothing, you know, like that. They didn't need to watch the company they kept. But now overall, this person is walking away at the Eight of Cups or have walked away because they're seeing life differently. They, you know, no longer in a confused mindset. And it could be, you know... Trying to fulfill their destiny and purpose on earth because four of pentacles and a will of fortune popped out. This was destined to happen. This person has a, a purpose here on earth with this will of fortune. That's why this person was called to contact this person and tell this person, hey, you need to discern who you be around. You need to watch the company you keep. Even a person that you're sleeping with, that you think you're in a relationship with and you haven't been with for so long. This person ended up going through a ten of swords, the ultimate betrayal, being backstabbed by multiple people. Yeah, a lot of people was at the five of ones with this person. This person probably thought this was not normal. You know, seeing a lot of people going through fights, arguments, conflict. They always fighting a person or arguing with a person that they haven't been attached to. And they probably thought that was, you know, love or the way people show love to a person. They didn't know this person was at the five of ones with them. You know, trying to compete with them, trying to win at all costs, copying them. Stuff that they probably didn't notice before. And this is also jealousy. This person could have been jealous of them. And they just didn't notice. It could have been somebody that they, you know, a brother, a sister, or a friend. It was just something in them that they, something in, in, in you that they didn't see in themselves. And they got upset. But y'all are two different people. Y'all on two different pay. Everybody is not on the same race. It's not a race in life. That's what people think as they sit back at the five of ones competing secretly with people, trying to one up a person, trying to argue with a person, send conflict to them. Everybody is at their own pace. As everybody go through di different lessons, separate lessons, and got different testimonies to give. You cannot stand up and give somebody else testimony or somebody else story. You can only give your own. And it's up to you. You got your own free will if you want to heal and get woke. But a lot of people that have been placed around you could have been people that were at the five of ones, jealous, sending conflict to you. These are people that you show love to and you don't understand. You figure if you keep coming in and showing love to these people, they're going to somehow night of cups you back. Come and quit with love, night of cups. And you don't know this, these people are taking your kindness for weakness. 
They're disloyal. You can't trust them no matter how long you've been knowing this person. Stuff like that. Yeah, nine of wands in the reverse is somebody that, you know, maybe you're not nervous no more. You have went through something and you were nervous. Nine of wands in reverse is somebody that, you know, that's not feeling left alone. Maybe you have, you know, watched this person go through stuff and you didn't know this person was similar to you. Or you're basically not feeling alone. You, you may have felt alone in the past as you was being battered and bruised left wounded, letting something occur over and over again, and you just felt left alone, you couldn't talk to nobody. You don't feel like nobody relate to you. But now you're realizing that the nine of wands in the reverse, that you're not left alone. You're not the only person that had to be battered and bruised. This other people have went through the stuff like, you know, what you have went through too. So you're not lo no longer nervous about this will of fortune, you know, walking in your destiny, your purpose. Yeah, you healed. Or you want to heal the star. Maybe you didn't know the person that contacted you and told you the truth about something was a healer or somebody that was a star. Somebody that had went through similar stuff, you know, that you had went through. And you just didn't know. And you somebody that healed. Maybe you're a leader. Somebody that has a story. Somebody that spiritually woke. And people around you don't understand you. But you feel like you could you connect with different people or you have connect with somebody else that, you know, is the same as you and you don't feel alone. Yeah, so you run, you realize that you're a healer too. You realize that you have a purpose here with this will of fortune. You have a destiny here on earth. God sent you here for a reason. Yeah, justice is here and three of swords is here. You're the type of person that, you know, you went through a lot of traumatic events in life and you, you know, have been left heartbroken at the three of swords, depressed about different stuff that you allow, different stuff you watch or overall different stuff that you had been placed around that you may have went through. When you were a kid up until you was grown because you hadn't healed stuff that happened to you when you were a kid and it left you going through heartbreaks back to back, traumatic events, accepting stuff that you knew wasn't right. And you sat back in depression for a long time. Yeah, but as you had, if, as you went through this Three of Swords, you could be still at this Three of Swords transitioning. Justice is here. The situation is being balanced out for all the traumatic events that you had them faced in the past and now, because you chose to heal. You didn't want. You don't want to be sitting back wounded. Nine of Wands in the reverse. You don't want to sit back and be the wounded warrior, always feeling left out and alone. You chose to be the star. You want to heal. You want to help people get woke, help people heal. You have a testimony to give, a purpose here on earth to help others. Yeah, justice here in the situation being balanced out for, you know, a traumatic situation that you have been facing probably over and over again throughout life. Yeah, you may want to reconcile with somebody at the Three of Cups. You could have went through, you know, heartbreaks and traumatic events constantly, you know, with different people that you kicked it with or party with. Three of Cups is like friends, celebration. This could be a wedding, just events. Or this could mean you want to reconcile with somebody. About a heartbreak, Three of Swords. You could be heartbroken about something that happened at the Three of Swords or depressed. And you want to reconcile with this person. Maybe you, you feel like you broke this person's heart. Five of Cups in the reverse. And Knight of Swords in the reverse. So this Knight of Swords in reverse. Maybe somebody tried to come in quick with slander and gossip about a person. And it didn't work. Knight of Swords in the reverse. They came in trying to spread lies, rumors, and slander on the person that you knew was a Queen of Swords that spoke the truth. And you knew that they came in with the lies and trickery because you was attracted to this person. They could have knew that you, you since you had the King of Cups, you had love for this person. So not a swords in reverse, it didn't work. You could also not want somebody to be mad at you or upset at you. Not a swords in a reverse. 
or snap on you. Because that's the in the upright, it's like somebody coming in raging, mad. Yeah, you could you sitting back ashamed of something. Five of cups in the reverse. You embarrassed and ashamed. Maybe because this person spoke to you, spoke the truth to you and you kind of just left this person out in the cold. You cut off all communication with this person. Yeah, found, you found out this person was a two of cups, like a soulmate. Yeah, you found out this person had the same amount of love for you that you had for them. Two of cups. It's like two people coming together in the upright. That's in love. So with this devil popping out after this two of cups, you could have been attached to a person that's toxic and you thought they was your two of cups. Maybe this is the person that tried to come in and slander this person down that told you the truth, this queen of swords, this woman. And after you seen that, you knew this person was a, a toxic soulmate. With the devil and then two of cups popping out, this was a karmic. Somebody that was here to teach you lessons so you can move on to your blessings. And you could have been attached to this person for a long time. And you thought this toxicity, this person that was toxic, binded to the devil, was your two of cups. And you sitting back in regret and shame at the five of cups in the reverse. You ashamed and embarrassed. Because this person came in and told you to watch to keep the company you keep, including the person that you're sleeping with. And this person had to did the ultimate betrayal and stabbed you in the back with multiple people. That's why you feel, wow. Yeah, this person, you don't want a person to judge you. Judgment in the reverse. But this person is going through some heavy judgment. Bad karma. As it popped out in the reverse, judgment in the reverse. You feel like you're going through bad karma. As you stayed attached to this person that's toxic with this devil card and two of cups. Yeah, you you going through bad karma because you chose to stay attached to this person. As you didn't know God was sending a person to, you know, tell you to be mindful of the company you keep and who you be around and just watch. Overall, watch your back and don't trust nobody. Yeah, Seven of Cups. And you were very confused at the Seven of Cups. Trying to figure it out as you was already in illusion and confusion. This person may have created illusions around you. You may have felt like you had a whole bunch of different options and you didn't know who a person was talking about. But you didn't know all the people that you were around, all the options that you thought you had was an illusion at the Seven of Cups. You may have had multiple different uh, sex partners that you felt like you got one thing from this person, one thing from that person, one thing from that person. And you didn't know these was all entity attachments that were toxic, devil energy. And that's why you were coming together in love with them. Because it was trickery behind the scenes. To guide you to them. Could have been lust spells. Love spells. Sex magic. Stuff like that. And that's why you were at the Seven of Cups confused. And you feel like you're going through some bad karma. Because of it. Judgment in the reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I don't know if you would... Yeah, maybe this person, you look at this person as an overall empress, but you also look at this woman that, you know, spoke the truth to you as somebody that's a hard worker, somebody that's nurturing, somebody that wasn't doing nothing but showing love to you. A person that helped people, somebody that's oriented, money oriented, like a jack of all trades. This is like the last, the last queen in the deck before you get to the empress. And you realize this person was just, you know, trying to help you. Yeah, in the past, Six of Cups. This is events that took place in the past at the Six of Cups. You could have realized this person was a past life relationship. This could be a person that has kids. Yeah, because this is a wife or mother. Most of the queens in the deck. And Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You didn't know nothing about ancestors or Ten of Pentacles or you didn't even believe in probably, you know, legacies or 
leaving anything behind. So you didn't know much about, you know, the way life go. You probably didn't believe in God. Yeah, Ten of Wands, and you feel a real burden, a lot of pressure put on you, on one individual. You feel like you went through a lot of karma, or you going through a lot of karma. Heavy burdens and running in circles. You got a lot of stuff in your face you can't see, and then a lot too much on your back you can't weigh. And you feel like you don't have no guidance. The, ancestors, the Ten of Pentacles is like the ancestors card. Maybe you feel like you, you don't have no ancestors around you. Maybe you feel like you don't know how to, you know. Be attached to a legacy or build a legacy or build generational wealth for yourself. Or overall, this toxic two of cups that you're sitting in karma and got, you know, bad karma for that this person tried to warn you about. Could be somebody that was just all about finances at the Queen of Pentacles. And you have been knowing, knowing this person for, you know. For the, from the past. You could have looked at women and you just wanted to, you seen women, you thought that they dressed nice or they had a this and that, that they had a lot of money and that would make you look good. But you realize that's not going to get you to a legacy or your Ten of Pentacles. As this person's Ten of Pentacles, you realize it's in a reverse. You realize this person is a karmic soulmate. This devil card and two of cups popped out and you, the judgment in the reverse. This karmic soulmate is uh, bad karma to you and you didn't know this. That's why you can't get to your Ten of Pentacles. Because this person doesn't have a Ten of Pentacles. They may have wanted to, you know, confuse you to be attached to your Ten of Pentacles. They could have seen that you had, you know, money and stuff like that. And they wanted to use you. And it's like now you're at the Ten of Wands, heavy burdens, running in circles, feeling burdened. Because you may have looked at women for how they looked or stuff like that and just, you know, let them use you. You could have thought this person was going to be equal with you at the Six of Pentacles. But when you got with this person, you was confused and you didn't know why. You had a lot of weight on you. Everything was on your back at the Ten of Wands. And you realize you can't get to no Ten of Pentacles around this person. This person is toxic. This person is the devil. This person is, you know, got you under heavy judgment in the reverse. Karma, bad karma. Eight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. Overall, this card means that you need to, you know, start working on yourself at the Eight of Pentacles. Maybe, maybe you have been working on yourself. Or you've seen another person at the Eight of Pentacles working on themselves or their own business. Uh, this person could have had you, you know, enlightened, getting you enlightened, getting you woke. You could just try, you could be the type of person that's at, you know, Eight of Pentacles and Four of Swords. You, you just stay working. You isolate yourself from a lot of people. You don't want to be around people that much. You be in solitude. But overall, you could have, you know, put yourself in solitude and start working on yourself too. You want to move forward in life with the chariot. The chariot popped out. You want to move forward in life. Could want to go towards somebody that you're in love with. The lovers, the chariot, and ace of cups. Yeah, you want to move forward in life or you are moving forward in life. To somebody that you possibly, you know, got love for and you feel like they going to have the same. Or they got the same love for you. But you realize you have to start showing yourself some love. Taking care of yourself more and caring about yourself more and just not letting nobody use you. Or letting, you know, judging books by its cover, you think this person looked this way. Could be a man or a woman. You think a woman looked this way. And they're going to love you because of how they look or how they would look next to you. And there's no connection there. And you just, you, this person is just using you for what they can get out of you. And then they just sit back and be toxic. And you at the Ten of Wands burden, pressure. And you constantly trying to love this person, show this person love at the Knight of Cups. And this person don't have no love for you. You have to realize you need to take care of yourself. Love yourself first. You have to worry about who love you. 
once you start loving yourself, taking care of yourself, you will you you're gonna start noticing people having respect for you. You could have been the type of person that would never show love and you were always, you know, want somebody to chase you down to love you, or you felt like you had to chase somebody down, or you was attached to women that was like that. Because you hadn't healed from stuff you, you went through in the past. Could have been something that your mama took you through. Could have been something that, you know, people overall that you was placed around took you through and made you not feel love. You felt left alone, abandoned. Things like that. Yeah, the Herman is here. Yeah, and it's always made you probably want to, you know, not be around people that much. With the hermit card, overall you look at this person as somebody that's wise, a person that goes within to investigate. You look at this person as a hermit, this person that had, you know, gave you heads up about the people you were around, the person you was attached to. Be mindful of who you have in your bed and the women that you just sleep with or the men that you just sleep with. As you can, you can get up with entity attachments. Even if you don't stay attached to that person and you're trying to figure out why are you still attracted to that person? Why are you still attached to that person? And you shouldn't just lay down with anybody. You need to be cleansing yourself. You're going to attract people that's just like that person even if you cut that person off or stabbing you in the back or doing something that you know wasn't right. You're going to attract somebody that's like that because that entity attachment is still on you and you didn't know. But yeah, you look at this person as somebody that's like a hermit, somebody that ghosts the world, goes within to investigate, somebody that's wit has wisdom and wise. Overall old soul. And you figure you you thinking, you know, you figuring that's why this person warned you. This person just only wanted to help you. Yes, a death card is here. Yeah, this you needed to put an end to the situation with this death card. This is overall endings. Putting ends to a situation. Somebody's actual death could be just possibly going through a rebirth and getting woke, spiritually woke. Eight of Wands, I'm coming to quick with the message. Eight of Wands, as this person, you know, possibly got quick, got exposed quick. After this happened, it's all about quick exposure. Text message, social media, you maybe started watching stuff. Things like that. So you felt like you just always need to balance stuff out. This person always, this person could have been the type of person that had you at the two of pentacles. Always needing to balance situations out. Always having to, you know, make sure everybody else was straight. Always needing to, you know, do the right thing for somebody else as you sit back and watch them be toxic, childish. You always got to make sure you put the pieces together. And this person could have been somebody that's seen you like that. So that's why they, you know, didn't care about being toxic. Didn't care about uh, battering and bruising you. Or breaking your heart and leaving you at the three of swords. Or being at the five of ones with you. Could have had other people at the five of ones with you. You sitting back, you know, wondering why this person don't love you. And they showing attention to all these other people. Now they done slipped other people to be at the five of ones with you in competition with you for them. And you don't know you sitting back competing with a whole bunch of other people to get this person's attention. And this person has placed illusion and confusions on you at the Seven of Cups. Trickery. To keep you stuck. Yeah, you sailed away overall. You're in the process of sailing away. You may have sailed away in the past. This is past, present, and future energy. You may have sailed away in the past and you're being divinely guided at the Six of Swords to sail away. By your ancestors, as they have been, you know, trying to get your attention. And you probably didn't know. And they want you to sail away and get woke. You felt stuck in an Eight of Swords self-made prison. You could have felt binded and blinded to the situation and you didn't know why. That this person was the devil, somebody that's toxic. And you were binded and blinded to the devil for death, that's old. And that's why you felt stuck around this person. Like you couldn't move. You couldn't see properly. You just wanted to satisfy this person and make sure that you came in at the Knight of Cups for them. Quick with love. 
And this person could have been working with different people behind the scenes on you. Had another person that, you know, they was cheating with and you didn't know. Yeah, this is overall something that was, you know, the world is here. You had to end out this cycle with this person. Or you have to end out this cycle with this person. Because this person is like a generational curse that has been placed on you with this world card. You have to complete this. This is completion. The world. Ending old cycles and going into a new cycle. That's why you had to feel stuck so you can, you know, pay attention to stuff that's around you. But this person wanted you to be at a stalemate. Two of Wands not knowing which way to go. This person sat back and could have planned this out at a Two of Wands. To have you stuck at this Eight of Swords, a self-made prison. Could have had you wrapped up in a situation. Could have lied and made it seem like they was pregnant or, you know, anything. I don't know why that came to mind, but yeah. Yeah, strength is here. But it built you up with the strength bar. It was a reason why you went through all this, because you hadn't been through a lot. And your ancestors wanted you to sail away, that you wasn't paying attention to something. And that's why you had to go through this Ten of Swords. The ultimate betrayal, because you didn't know. You wasn't paying attention. Yeah. You didn't know you wasn't paying attention, but you, you know, the hangman popping out, you felt stuck in the situation. This person wanted you to feel stuck in the situation. They thought using trickery would have you confused so they can keep using you. This person didn't love themselves and they didn't want you to love yourself. Yeah, they could have just wanted you, you know, somewhere stuck. If they couldn't have you, they would want you somewhere wrapped up in something so you couldn't focus. You had the Ten of Wands, heavy burdens, running in circles. This petty stuff like that behind the scenes you may have not, you know, paid attention to or knew because you would think this person wouldn't go that far. All because they couldn't be attached to you and no longer, you know, use you in a sneaky, deceptive way. Smile in your face and then stab you in the back and then you think that's love as they smile, you know, in your face. Or y'all constantly at the five of ones arguing and you think this person love you. This person is toxic. This person is a, a in devil energy. Got you binded and blind and stuck at the eight of swords. To the devil and you didn't know for death that's old. Yeah, this person, you know... You could have been just called to have patience and that or you needed to have patience. The ancestors will teach you lessons so you can move on to your blessings. So the ancestors could have had you in a hangman position. Could have had you in jail so you can get enlightened, isolated away from different people. So you can get woke. And you didn't understand it because you wasn't paying attention to it in the past. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. You wasn't paying attention to it in the past. You could have got a tarot reading, page of pentacles from somebody, or you could want to get a tarot reading, somebody to read tarot. Or you could have overall just had to notice that the person that you were around was a childish person. Um, they didn't really have much to offer you. They always came in with something small. Yeah, tower. They always had destruction going on. They always had you going through tower moments. Sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices. You could have went through a lot of crisis with this person. House fire. Damage. This person could have damaged you. You would have went through... It could have been stuff... Just different tower moments as of... Um, every time you was around this person, something bad happened. Y'all could have went through multiple car accidents together. Different stuff and you didn't know why. You didn't know this person could have played with different stuff behind the scenes and wished ill will on people and it was coming back on you. Equal give and take. Whatever you do come back on you tenfold and the people that you attach to. So you probably didn't know this. And you went through a lot of this person, a lot of destruction and tower moments around this person. And you will always be sitting back dealing with an overflow of bad choices, but you wasn't understanding why bad stuff was always happening to y'all or when you was around this person. You didn't know this person was cursed and hexed. This person had you. That's why y'all clicked. 
This person had you under a curse and a hex, and you didn't know this person was sunk here to stop you and block you, to teach you lessons, to move on to your blessings, which is your destiny, your purpose that you have here on earth. Yeah, and that's the truth, King of Swords, cutting out all BS. Yeah, but you, you, you overall look at this person as somebody that spoke the truth. You know, overall, after all this stuff happened, you looked at some, you know, this person as somebody that speaks the truth to people. King of Swords, cut out stuff that no longer served them. You look at this person as somebody that's very smart. You just wasn't paying attention to it. You could have just seen this person as a single person that was celibate. Somebody that had their own business. Somebody that was like a boss, sufficient, abundant, could stand on their own two feet. But you didn't know this person was like an empress, somebody that can embody every queen in the deck, a divine feminine. You wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it could have been a lot of gossip and rumors and lies that were spread about this person at the Nine of Swords. And you were just always in your head trying to figure this situation out. Why would these people lie? Why would these people say this about this person? And you was at the dark night and saw a mental prison in your head. As it was a lot of slander, gossip, rumors, sleepless nights. You could have been having nightmares about different people doing stuff to you. And you didn't, you didn't know why. And you didn't understand the synchronicities in the dream. That these are people that haven't been placed around you to stop you and block you from your purpose, your destiny. That you haven't been called to do. Yeah, you are the manifester of your own life, the magician. You have control of your own path. Nobody should be able to have control over you. No matter what was said about you or other people tried to say about you behind your back, they're not going to say it to your face because they know it's not true. They figure that they will cast, you know, illusions and confusions around you and have you in your head at the Nine of Swords. You're trying to figure out why will people say this about you? Who is it coming from? As people behind the scenes at the Five of Wands competing with you. Sending conflict to you, fights, arguments, trying to one-up you because they see something in you that they don't see in themselves. And they want to project their energy off on you to make you feel bad because they don't feel good. You're the manifester of your own life. You're a creative person. You have foresight for your future's path. You have control of your own future. Nobody else should be able to control you. You're a knight of pentacles. They didn't, do you realize your money was just coming in slow? You couldn't focus. The people that haven't been placed around you, they just probably want to get some quick money out of you because their money will be coming in slow. They're the fool here. You realize that you, you know, need to take a leap of faith. Maybe you started taking a leap of faith to new things in life and you start having a lot of new stuff coming in. As you got away from people, cleanse yourself, start healing, learning to take a spiritual bath, learn about energy crystals, protection crystals. Yeah, and overall, you know, you want to probably take a leap of faith to speak, could possibly speak your emotions about things that you have been through. Going towards a new path, new career in life. Yeah, the hair find is here. Maybe you want, you know, going towards somebody that's like a hair font, somebody that's like God, somebody that you can be loyal to, committed to. Could be somebody that's like a pastor as well. Could be just somebody that you look at as a spiritual advisor. Could be just overall God had to step in on this situation because it was a lot of stuff that you wasn't paying attention to. Could be one of those or all of the above. But this is somebody that you could possibly want to marry. This is a possible marriage commitment. As the hair finding someone that, you know, they like ordained marriages. You could want to be, you know, committed to this person. You feel like this person was committed to you. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is the, you know, husband. Like a husband or a father. You, want, you can see yourself being married to this person at the King of Pentacles. And the hair font. That's Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, but you feel like you made a lot of bad investments. You wasn't building. You have not been building. You have not been working. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You don't have nothing to invest in. 
Or maybe you have been in a commitment or a marriage and you realize that was a bad investment. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. You're not building anything with this person. You don't have no investments coming in with this person. That page of wands. You want to communicate with a person. Call a person. You want to send somebody a message that's somebody that's like wish fulfillment to you. That will make you happy. And you want to send this person away a message. Nine of Cups and Page of Wands. Maybe about just overall stuff that you went through since you kind of cut off all communication with this person. Yeah, Nine of Wands. You want to go quick forward movement with this person. And you feel like you was at the Nine of Wands doing a lot of stuff without thinking. Thinking it through. You could have thought you were just going to come in and have sex with this person, this Queen of Swords. That spoke the truth. Who you didn't know was an empress. Somebody that's, you know, divine. A divine person. Divine feminine. You could have thought you were just going to have sex with this person. But this is like overall you want to go towards this person. Quick forward movement. This is somebody you want to talk to, communicate with. Because you look at this person as wish fulfillment. Somebody that make you happy. And that's the truth, Ace of Swords, clarity. You figure you gain clarity and truth now. This person was speaking truth and clarity. When they, you know, told you, whatever they told you, gave you heads up, be mindful of the people that you attached to or the people that you had them been placed around. Pay attention to the company you keep and don't trust nobody. Yeah, because you feel like you had them been blinded at the two of swords from the truth. And you have to be blinded from the truth because people expose themselves. These people have been blinded playing with a lot of stuff that they know nothing about behind the scenes that you didn't know. These people could have been people that had to try to blind the justice system. They did a lot of stuff that was fraudulent. And they always did bad stuff. And then you ended up around these people, staying attached to these people. Now you wrapped up in cases. You don't know why stuff is coming back on you. As you stayed attached to these people, that's toxic, that walking devil energy. And you wasn't paying attention to none of it. And you had to go through these tower moments back to back. Just so you can sail away at the Six of Swords and be divinely guided. Yeah, you didn't know these people was at the Five of Swords. These are people that you didn't, you wouldn't think that was be, you would be mentally unstable. People that was jealous, envious. And you realize this person that, you know, gave you heads up, you may have thought this person was jealous of something. Jealous of you or jealous of the people that you were around. But you realize this person was just telling you the truth. Because you were blinded at the two of swords. This person was at the queen of swords speaking the truth. And somebody that cut out things that no longer served purpose in their life. And they wanted to give you heads up. But you realize this person was not a person that was jealous or trying to sabotage you. Or wanted to cause harm to you. Five of swords in the reverse. Maybe that's what, you know, the rumors and gossip that was spread. And you had to sit back and analyze everything. Yeah, King of Wands and Queen of Cups. This is somebody that you was attracted to. You knew this person was attracted to you, King of Wands. You knew this person had passion for you. This person had love for you, Queen of Cups. Somebody that was in love with you. And that's why this person spoke, you know, they truth to you. And you realize that, you know, you didn't even know the people that you were around was jealous, envious. Trying to one-up you and win at all costs, sabotage you. Wanted to intentionally cause harm to you. But you figure since you haven't known these people, you know, so long and you barely knew this person. You was just at the night of ones, you know, wanting to have sex with this person. You realize this person was not even trying to cause harm to you. This person's at the nine of pentacles upright, single, sufficient, abundant, boss. Somebody that's not a night of ones. Somebody that's celibate. And you realize that you didn't even know that these people was at the, you know, five of ones. Trying to defeat you. Sabotage you. And sabotage somebody that was attracted to you. They don't want you to do nobody to be attracted to you. Yeah, these people wanted to have victory at the Six of Wands. Be reared on the high horse. Seen in certain lights that's not their own. These are narcissists. They wanted to get clout. You may have held this person in high honor. They wanted to be held in high honor. They knew how you felt about this person. They knew how this person felt about you. And how you held this person in your eyes at the Six of Wands in high honor. 
And they wanted to sabotage that with this nine of, nine of swords. Have you at a mental prison while all these rumors and lies and gossip was spread? Yeah, Ten of Cups. Could have been, you know, different people that you show love to. Groups of people at the Ten of Cups. Could have been family members. Could have been just people that's close, that's like family. Because they, you know, looked at you and this person as, or they knew that this was your ultimate happiness to be with this person or be around this person. This person made you happy at the Ten of Cups. Yeah, but this was all destined and fated to happen because the people that you were placed around, they're not, you know, supposed to be on your future's path. You can't manifest around them. You can't do a lot of stuff around them. You knew these people were lying, but you just sat back and you didn't know why. And you will always think about what this person said, this Queen of Swords that was speaking the truth. And then you went through the ultimate betrayal, Ten of Swords, being backstabbed by multiple people that you thought you can trust. And you gained the clarity and overall moving on in life, sailing away at the Six of Swords. But you gained away, I mean, you gained clarity and truth, Ace of Swords clarity. Yeah, three of wands. You you done made a decision at the three of wands. You know what you want out of life. And nobody can't stop you and nobody can't influence you or nobody can't try to have you where you at a two of wands not able to make a proper decision or at a stalemate. All because they don't want you to move before they move or they don't want you to get woke before they get woke. They don't want you to manifest in life and have and build something for yourself before they build something. It's like you don't notice that they had a five of ones with you, and that's why you feel stuck around it. You know, certain people that you thought had love for you because you always show love, not a cup. You've been around these people all your life. They're your family. You want them to support you. As you have to realize, you have to support yourself, motivate yourself, love yourself, because everybody is not going to show you. Everybody is not going to treat you how you treat yourself. Everybody's not going to respect you like you respect them. And high priestess, I'm telling the truth about this situation. High priestess. Yeah, you're an emperor. Somebody that's an emperor. And you realize that's what you want to be, an emperor. You are emperor. You haven't went through every king. Every king in the deck that popped out is in the upright. So you have went through all these energies. You know you can balance out all these energies. In order to build a legacy. So you already know that. You had the three of wands. You made decisions. You know what you want out of life. You're divine masculine. Somebody that was sent here by God. Yes, Ace of Wands, this card means yes to me. Yes, and you have a new beginning, new ventures in life. Maybe you want to be intimate with somebody. Have an intimate conversation. Intimacy don't, also, don't always mean sex. But you could overall just want to have an intimate conversation with somebody that you feel like that you relate to as you popped out the Empress and this is an Empress. I mean, popped out the Emperor and this Empress is here with balance. So maybe you feel like you want to balance things out with this person. Have an intimate conversation with this person. Yeah, but you feel like you're going to be rejected. Maybe you rejected this person four cups. You left this person feeling rejected. And now you feel rejected. As I say, the energy that you walk in, it has to be balanced out. The universe got to be balanced out. So whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. And just as small as rejecting somebody. Now you feel rejected because you rejected this person. And you're feeling bad because everything that this person came out to say was true. But it's more stuff that came out that you didn't even expect to go through. Yeah, Page of Cups. It's like a message from above. And you want to apologize to this person. You feel like this person is going to re reject your apology for Four of Cups and then this Page of Cups. You feel like this person going to reject your apology. Seven of Wands in reverse and Page of Swords. You don't want this person to block you. Yeah, 
Yeah, you don't want this person to block you. Seven of Wands in the reverse. It's all about blockages or blocking someone. Divine guidance, protection. Trials, tribulations, obstacles, so names and battles. You feel like you don't want this person to block you or think that you don't want this person to think that you're going to take them through a seven of wands. Blockages being placed around them. Or somebody that's going to batter and bruise them and take them through trials, tribulations, obstacles, tornadoes, and battles. And then page of swords in the reverse. Maybe you... Page of swords in the reverse is somebody that's talking a lot. Gossiping a lot. Over-stalking, over-watching a person. Maybe you don't want a person to know something. Page of swords in the reverse. Yeah, seven of swords. Maybe you don't want a person to know that whatever they told you was the truth. Seven of swords, that people were being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing stuff from you, using you, being dishonest. And they were scam artists. They thought they were smarter than you. You don't want a person to know that you went, yeah, you wanted this to be a secret with the moon. As you know, this stuff was happening in secret and you didn't know. You went through the ultimate betrayal, of Ten of Swords, a backstab by multiple people. And it was a secret. And you probably, you know, ashamed about it after this person was telling you. But you, you wanted to keep that a secret with the moon. You don't want this person to know you went through a Seven of Swords. 